Okay, this furnace is a uh, an 80% trained BLU model. Okay, this one's about inducer problems, and in this case, it's an 80% furnace. You can see your burners and gas valves down there, fan switch. And here's your inducer, and on the left is a pressure switch. Now you can hear the hum, but the motor's not running. Uh, the motor's getting hot, but it's not turning. Okay, here's what the inducer looks like inside. Now, uh, metal wheel, metal housing, 80% furnaces, uh, a lot of them have used this metal housing. Not the best idea in the world. Uh, what usually gets in here is uh, birds. Now, I didn't have any birds, so I'll show you my piece of crap here. And that's just a shop towel. Now, if I turn the power back on here, it's not going to move. Uh, that's all there is uh, to this. If, if the uh, blower wheel either doesn't turn easily or hangs up uh, you know on the outside of the housing or something like that we may have bearing problems uh, with the uh, motor this shaft and how uh, blower wheel they're almost impossible to get off sometimes you get lucky and they'll come off easy uh, we replace the entire assembly the reason we do that is one, I can't get that thing off, or I'll bend the shaft or something, or bend the house, or bend the blower wheel, or something like that. And the entire assembly is balanced at the factory rather than just the blower wheel and motor being balanced separately. So, uh, if I'm going to put this back on, let's say I've come up with a bird in it or something, what do I do next? Okay, so I'm ready to put this thing back on. Now I pulled off the gasket material here. It's kind of a fiberglass stuff. And all I, I don't use the necessarily a gasket. If one comes with a set, I'll use it. But this is what I use. Just high temp red. It works fine. It's good for the temperature. And guess what? It's a gasket all by itself. So I will simply Okay, it's ready to put back on. I should note that if there are any restrictor plates in here with a small hole or anything like that, don't throw that thing out. That is how it's supposed to be. It needs to have the restrictor plate on it. Put her back in, off you go.